Hey everybody, this is AKMan1984. I'm back for part 11 of my tutorial series. And today I'm going to show you how to read the status of an, an engine and how to see how much liquid or if is, there is any liquid in the uh, tanks. But before I show you that, that, I'm going to show you a couple of new updates I've done. And one of them is this. And it's two snow golems inside. Hey, what's up? And uh, they're uh, they're kind of doing something. Uh, and also this thing, which is poking out of the uh, the wall. And here there's a uh, requester pipe. Now, um, when the, these chests are going to be filled with uh, items, they're going to have they're going to be all here, and all they're going to you can request them from here. So now I have uh, 64 uh, cobblestones, which are which are right here, and uh, so when I click on it and request it, whatever number I want, and then I say successful, and uh, it shoots up, then comes down, and then comes in my inventory, and here I have 10 cobblestones. So yeah, that's the little uh, add-on I did, and you can do this as many times as you want. You can walk away from it, and uh, yeah, so that's how that works. And uh, so we'll go see the snow golems. Now, uh, this is uh, something I saw that someone made, and that was pretty cool. So I thought I would use it too. So it's basically a snow golem uh, trapped inside uh, glass, and there's snow under him. And this is a block breaker. And uh, it's what it's doing is just breaking the blocks, which makes uh, snowballs. And if I pull this lever, you get infinity uh, snowballs. And then with snowballs, you can make ice. So uh, hopefully you guys know what the next step when you make ice is. And I've already started... Uh, making the little thing so I could use the uh, ice for and hopefully you guys know what that is and it will be in my next uh, uh, computer craft build craft and computer craft uh, working together series and I'll show you that but now let's go in the back here where I have a setup that I'm going to show you how to read um, the engine. So we have this engine set up, and uh, I I'll ca I can give you the code for this, guys. But uh, it's better if you do it yourself. And I'm going to show you the code. No, no, don't worry about it. And uh, because uh, why I'm not giving you the code is because everyone has a different setup, and you can set up uh, different ways you want. But it has to be similar to this. Now this is the same as this here. It's just made differently um, so what how you have to set it up is you have to have three uh, two uh, three uh, pipes why because um, each pipe can only send out four signals and uh, if you look here oops if you look here here uh, is showing me the status of the engine and it's giving out the signals for the status of the engine so right now it's blue is being outputted and it's also sending a blue signal to the pipes if you look up here the blue is on and this is receiving the blue signal and it's sending a redstone signal now you can't you cannot put uh, bundled cables on this, which is unfortunate, but it would be cool if they did. And also, four is the maximum number of signals you can have. Now, I know I have five here. It's because the last one, and this is optional, you don't have to have it, is, is showing uh, the liquid traveling through the pipe, and it's uh, outputting it to that, uh, to that uh, redstone transmitter. Let's make it brighter in here. Here on top, you can see there's a uh, wireless receiver. And on the other side, 
is showing me the uh, the tank of the engine. Now if you look here, the tanks are empty. And here it's showing me that there is no tanks, there's no, sorry, there's no liquid in a tank. There is no water, I mean, sorry, there's, there is no water in the tank, but there is space for water in the tank. And the tank is not full, so it's not displaying that, so that's how you do it. And it's the same thing, so you can guys can set it up any way you want. Here you have the oil, so it's saying that there is no oil in the tank, but there is space for oil. Now you don't have you don't have to have the the space for liquid option. I mean, it's optional this, but uh, I put it just for the just for to have it more complicated. But you don't need to have this. You can just have uh, liquid in the tank, and then it, uh, the tank is full. It would be enough. So. So all this is being outputted to the computer here, to these uh, receivers. Here do you see, you see there's a, uh, sorry, lag. So here you see there's a, uh, a transmitter that's the same number as this. And here these are the, each of the uh, receivers receiving information about uh, each of the statuses of the engine. Now uh, here uh, it's set up in a way that I've put a uh, a little uh, what do you call this um, cover so that it doesn't inf interfere with this block and this is basically to save space so you can put a block the uh, the wire you want and then uh, uh, <laughs> a stone a cover and then another one and then keep on going like that. So uh, that's how I do it to save space. Um, and this is the computer. So now it's off. And also there's a uh, there's a disk drive in there. So uh, if we go inside the computer, it's going to say welcome to the command console. And it's going to say engine status is blue. Engine water tank is empty. Engine oil tank is empty. Please go check engine. OK. So um, if I go here, if I go here, and then take the oil bucket and put it inside. Now there's oil in the um, in the engine. Now you see it's it's changed. So here it says engine status is blue. Engine water tank is empty. Engine has oil. Start engine now. I know there's no water in gen engine, and uh, the reason why is that uh, basically this is a water uh, pump, so it's pumping water into the engine. Now, if you don't want that to happen, if you want this to go straight to your uh, tanks, then you're gonna have to make another pipe here. Different, uh, different. Uh, this is a, a stone pipe, so you can make a cobblestone pipe if you want. And then uh, have that sent be sent to the tanks, and then uh, th then another system that sends uh, water to this tank. But I find that a little complicated, so I just have the, the engine refill itself with water. So now, if we go here, and if we say yes, oops, yes, and just wait a little bit. Now it's gonna say engine water engine water engine has water, engine has tank. And if you look, it's uh, pumping away, and it's also filling up the uh, water tank. And uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's gonna keep on pumping away, and there's no stopping it because I haven't uh, made a unless I restart the whole thing. Um, but uh, yeah, you just would have to make a, st a stop system, which basically would say, w engine is running, would you like to stop engine? And then uh, you'd have a yes or no answer. But this tutorial is just to show you guys how to read the information off the uh, engines. And, and, and I'm gonna show you the code for this computer uh, right now in uh, C++. So see you there. 
All right, guys. So now I'm in uh, C++. Uh, sorry, not plus plus. Notepad plus plus, and uh, here's the code for the uh, engine. Now, there's before this, there's a startup uh, script, which is I've shown you guys this before. Um, so then goes to the A program, and here is base is a blank box, and first you start with uh, ba basically the answers and questions so if uh, the right bundled cable is showing gray uh, that is true it's going to print to this position uh, engine status blue and so on for cyan uh, so if cyan is on it's going to print uh, engine status is green, magenta, engine status is yellow, and here um, brown, here it's going to print engine red, overheating, please shut down. Now you can change any of these uh, codes, any of these uh, prints out if you want, if you don't want it to be printing out that way, but uh, that's how I have it set up. And here is, base, is showing you the uh, if the engine tank is uh, it has water, so if red is showing false, uh, engine water tank is empty. If black is false, that means there it's off. Uh, engine uh, engine oil tank is empty. Please go and check, and then it's going to wait for four seconds and then restart the program. And then if uh, here, see now if it's on, if the red is on, now it's going to say engine has water. And here it's going to say uh, if uh, black is on, and then it's going to say oil has, uh, engine has oil. And then it's going to go here, and then it's going to do, it's going to ask you the question would start engine, yes, no. And then when you press yes, it's gonna turn the bla the back uh, true, which does just a, uh, a um, transmitter transmitter and a uh, redstone block in the back there. So that's why it's just black true. So RS set output black true, and then if you say no, it's just gonna restart the uh, program, and then if you press anything else, it's gonna say not a valid command, which I already showed you. And also, it's going to wait four seconds. If you do anything, any of these, it's going to wait four seconds and then it's going to run the program again. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's pretty simple, I think. <laughs> not enough, uh, not uh, a lot of uh, difficult things here. So, uh, that's it, guys. Please subscribe and like and comment, and I'll bring you more videos.